Hi there. This is Lawrence Simon, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. It's all about the cloud these days, isn't it? Did you know that you can create a cPanel and WHM server instance in the cloud? In this video, I'll demonstrate how to spin up a cPanel and WHM server on a DigitalOcean droplet. A droplet is a server instance in the DigitalOcean cloud. In this video, we'll perform the following tasks. We'll log into DigitalOcean. We'll configure the droplet and launch it. Then we'll connect to WHM. And finally, we'll set the root password. The first step is to open your web browser and navigate to DigitalOcean's website. If you don't already have an account at DigitalOcean, you'll need to sign up for one. After you get that all taken care of, or if you've already got an account at DigitalOcean, click Sign In. The Sign In interface will appear. Enter your username and password, and click Sign In. The project interface will appear. In the left sidebar, open the Discover menu and click Marketplace. The Marketplace interface will appear. This interface lists all platforms and solutions available as DigitalOcean droplets. We'll search for cPanel and click it. The Profile interface will appear. It lists useful information about cPanel and WHM, such as included software and links to our documentation. Let's click Create cPanel and WHM Droplet. The Create Droplets interface will appear. Now we'll need to select a droplet size. DigitalOcean offers a range of plans with varying amounts of memory, disk space, and processors. Make sure that you select one that meets our system requirements in the installation guide. At the time I recorded this, we require a minimum of 1 GB of RAM, 20 GB of disk space, but we recommend at least 2 GB of RAM and 40 GB of disk space. I'll add a link to our installation guide in the video description. After you make your selection, let's scroll down a bit. You can add some block storage to your droplet to add additional drive volumes. Click Add Volume to show the options for block storage. You can select the size and you'll see the price per month and hour, or you can enter in the size that you require. Also, DigitalOcean can format and mount it for you, or you can do that manually. And you can select the type of file system for your block storage. For now, I won't add any block storage. I'll click Remove Volume to hide this option. Now you're ready to select the data center region for your server. DigitalOcean's regional data centers are located around the world, so select one that suits your needs, either near your location or near your customers. I left my heart in San Francisco. Sorry, I don't know any songs about Amsterdam. Okay, okay, it's a tutorial video, not karaoke night. Let, let's pick New York 1. Next, you can select additional options. If you need IPv6 support, select it here. And you can configure monitoring by DigitalOcean, which is separate from the monitoring and alert system we offer in cPanel and WHM. Next, we'll select an authentication method. We strongly recommend that you use SSH keys. Now, we'll click New SSH Key. The Add Public SSH Key interface will appear. There's some helpful instructions on the right side of this window. I'm on a MacBook Pro, so I'll go into a terminal session and change to my SSH directory. Then, I'll go ahead and run the cat space id underscore rsa period pub command. Then, paste the results into the interface. 
If you don't already have an SSH public key, you'll need to generate one. Run the ssh-keygen command. Confirm id underscore rsa as the new file name. Enter a passphrase and confirm it. And that will generate a new key. Your screen will display a confirmation message and a random ASCII art result. I'll run the cat id underscore rsa.pub command to display the new key. Then I'll copy it and paste it into the interface. Enter the name of the key, which should be id underscore rsa, and click Add SSH key. Under Finalize and Create, you can select how many droplets to create. For this video, we're just going to create one. Now we need to set the server hostname so DigitalOcean can generate the droplet. Enter a fully qualified domain name for the hostname. You can then add tags to the droplet so you can further label that droplet within the DigitalOcean portal. If you set up projects in DigitalOcean to help organize your droplets, you can select the project to add this droplet to. And you can select whether to enable backups at DigitalOcean for your server. This is separate from the backups that cPanel and WHM can manage. Then click Create Droplet. DigitalOcean will begin to provision your new server. You'll see a progress bar in the droplets list for your new server. When it's ready, the server's IP address will appear in its row. That's where you'll log into your server, and it's the IP address that you'll need to purchase a cPanel license for. Speaking of logging into your server, let's do that. From your terminal application, let's enter SSH space root the at symbol, and then the IP address of the server. You'll get an authentication request, and I'll go ahead and type in yes. The server will respond with a message of the day that contains helpful links and a URL where you can log into cPanel and WHM. Let's copy that URL into a web browser and navigate to that site. Your browser may give you a few security warnings, Right out of the box, your server is using a self-signed certificate, which we can replace later with a hostname certificate that will secure your server and get rid of those warnings. A new interface will appear that asks you to agree to our software license. Go ahead and read it, and then agree to it. Another interface will appear that will ask you for your contact information. I'll enter my email address here. Then it asks you for the name servers to use. They'll be based on the host name that you provided earlier. After you click Finish, the WHM interface will appear. Every cPanel server that's new on a particular IP address comes with a 15-day trial license. You can contact cPanel if you wish to buy a license, or you can buy one directly from within the WHM interface. You might see some warnings at the top of your interface. If you see a warning about a new version of cPanel available, don't worry about it. It's a part of the installation process we have at DigitalOcean. cPanel and WHM is updating itself as a background task. However, if you see a warning about requiring a reboot to apply software updates, that means that there is a new operating system kernel available. You can take care of that reboot after you get things set up on your server. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and change the root password. In the left sidebar, search for Change Password or Password, and we'll click Change Root Password. The Change Root Password interface will appear. Enter a strong password, then confirm that password, or have the server generate one for you, and click Change Password. Now you'll be able to log into WHM directly from a browser through that IP address at port 2087, 
or if you still want to use the SSH keys, you can SSH into your server and then generate another link that can take you into WHM. Whatever you prefer and whatever meets your security requirements. Your server is now ready for you to configure, just like any other cPanel and WHM server. I'll include links to the documentation in the video description, okay? For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, visit cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter at cPanel. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments. And for more helpful videos, subscribe to our cPanel channel. Thank you for watching and enjoy.